Hello everyone, my name is Andre Felipe Casas Pulido. Today I will present our project ESP Performance Analysis Operating with Stable Oil Water Emulsion and the subproject 3 of Resort Line 2 of Engineering and Production Innovation Center EPIC. The electrical commercial pump ESP is a multi stack centrifugal pump used in the petroleum industry as an artificial lift method. The ESP is a hydraulic machine that transports the mechanical energy from the electrical motor into kinetic energy of the liquid in transports. Electrical commercial pumps are currently of one of the best of artificial lift method in terms of production rate. The energy is added to the flow using a multi stack centrifugal pump, uh, where each stage has a rotational component, the impeller, and a stationary, a stationary component, the diffuser. The ESP offers additional energy to fluids and convert kinetic energy on the impeller into preserved energy on the diffuser. So, in oil extraction, the ESP can operate with misters characterized by multiple flows of gas liquid, liquid liquid, and gas liquid liquid. Liquid liquid misters observed in many industrial and natural processes can be composed of two immeasurable phases with patterns uh, arranged in various geometric configurations, where well means they are uh, now as emulsions and have a great viscosity that pure oil and emulsion is composed of a dispersed phase and continuous phase. So dispersed of two immersible fluids which is produced uh, by turbulence of share. Uh, the increase in emulsion viscosity is a common problem present in the petroleum industry. The higher emulsion effective viscosity can provoke severe, severe degradation of the ESP performance. This research aims to study the ESP performance degradation caused by the emulsion effective viscosity. So the experimental phase lead was designed to investigate the ESP performance operating with single and water oil flows. Therefore, all the variables necessary to calculate the pump performance were measured. Here is the kinetic uh, design of the test circuit. Uh, on the right, it shows an image of the experimental apparatus, uh, which only highlights the text section in which in the ESP place the oil and water phases mm, the, oil, the oil and water phases are stored in a separate tank and pumped separately oper operation in a closed loop the oil phases the oil phase is mm, pumped from the tank by two screw booster and flow through a temperature control system composed of shell and two uh, head exchanger and, and thermokiller. Temperature control is essential, essential since the system operates in a closed loop and tends to head up. Uh, in addition, the oil viscosity is adjusted through temperature control, thus it is possibly a uh, possible, possible possible to carry out tests in different viscosities with uh, the same oil by simply adjusting the temperature range. The ESP test is a P100 with age uh, stage powered by electrical motor 
of 50 horsepower uh, shock valve is uh, used to control the pressure. So the stability of the emulsion in the oil industry is due to the natural emulsifier present in crude oil. In crude oil, in this investigation, one percent of Spain uh, 18 sulfactane was added to the tank. The water was um, added uh, four percent out of four percent over a range of ten percent to thirty two percent. The emulsion was for using the flow loop itself. Uh, experiments were carried out for three rotational speeds, 2,400, 3,000, and 3,500 RPM. And for four temperatures, uh, 30, 35, 40, and 45, uh, Celsius degrees. So, an indirect method to determine the emulsion effective viscosity within the ESP was um, used, which was obtained from the water oil emulsion performance scores. The viscose performance data were used to determine, determine the parameters of dimensional head and empirical model for the text CSP, those they calculate values were compared with the effective viscosity obtained with oil and water emulsions, uh, as um, well as the ESP performance operating with emulsions, emulsion and oil. Here is the flow chart, flow chart corresponding, corresponding to the calculation of the effective viscosity on the oil water emulsion. So, tests with single and two phase flow were carried out for two different ESP models. Firstly, equation one. Equation one was obtained from the performance data of ESP single phase flows. Thereafter, equation two was used to obtain the rotational Reynolds number. By equation three, finally, the effective viscosity of the emulsions draw by equation three. So, this figure uh, shows the, the degradation in the ESP performance scores as the water pressure increased. The performance scores of the ESP operating with water, oil, stable emulsion present degradation as the effective viscosity of the emulsion increase. So here the emulsion, the influence of the dimensional flow rate on the relative viscosity on the emulsion inside the ESP is shown. Uh, the ESP is shown. It is possible to notice that the relative viscosity increase as the dimensional flow decrease for the analysis water cut. The ESP viscose performance degradation caused by emulsion can be intensified by seems like the shear thinning behavior. The decrease of the parameters reference to the flow rate reduction and or the increase of the ESP rotation speeds. So, an ESP performance uh, analysis was carried out operating with an stable water oil emulsion. A viscose heat degradation, uh, degradation was observed due to the effective viscosity of the emulsion. And unknown behavior was evidence with the ESP. So I would like to thank our sponsors for the support given during this work. Thank you very much.